everyone um so today i am going to try my hand at crocheting a balloon dog i've been seeing it a lot on facebook instagram tiktok wherever and i thought they were really cute and i wanted to make one too so i bought a pattern from not monsters on etsy and i'm going to use this shiny red yarn i thought this would be kind of fun because it might look a little bit more balloony I guess if yarn can look balloony um, so I'm gonna try my hand at crocheting a balloon dog and we'll see how it goes I think it'll be kind of fun because when you're totally done you have this long piece that looks like when you've blown up the long balloon and twisted it so then you actually fold these pieces up to make the balloon dog so this will be kind of fun so stay tuned and see how it comes out Well, today while you're watching me crochet, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about myself. I've actually been crocheting since I was eight years old. My mom taught me how to crochet, and I've been crocheting most of my life. Some parts of my life I've been doing it more than others. Um, I've also been knitting now for about 20 years. My mom taught me that too. She honestly taught me a lot of the things that I do. I've been decorating cakes since I was three years old, entering them in competition since I was five, and competing against adults since I was 12. Um, I don't do it a lot anymore. I do it more just, you know, somebody's birthday or whatnot. Um, I also draw and paint. I do photography. I've been carving for a few years now. Um, I so I do needle felting, I make gnomes, I paint shoes, uh, I like to garden, I like to just create in general. And my most recent thing that I've started to learn how to do is uh, spinning my own yarn. I inherited a spinning wheel. Um, that had belonged to my grandparents and they had actually gotten it in the 1950s and when they got it the spinning wheel was actually already broke it was a very old spinning wheel and they just used it as a decorative piece and I inherited it and decided I wanted to learn how to actually use it and at the moment it is still broken my husband has been learning to use a wood lathe so that we can restore it but in the meantime I now have four spinning wheels, one of which is an electric wheel, and I have multiple drop spindles and supported spindles and this kind of spindle and that kind of spindle. And I've actually only been using the spinning wheel now for seven months and using a drop spindle and supported spindle, etc., for six months. So they are very new to me, but I am completely hooked and have joined a local fiber arts guild and met other people who do the same thing and it's been really fun to just learn about this old way of doing things and creating something from scratch and I'll actually process the fiber completely from scratch that has just come off of the animal and you don't just spin wool I spin I've processed and spun wool which is from a sheep and alpaca and I am currently also spinning some camel and I have some mohair to spin but you can spin so many things from different kinds of plant fibers like flax um, nettle and many others and then there's ones that they've actually um, created from a plant but it's not the actual fiber, but you can spin rose and pineapple 
and so many different things. Um, bamboo is a very popular one that you see a lot of now. And of course, cotton and a lot of other things. Um, yak. Uh, some people will actually spin dog fur and cat fur. That's not one I've actually done, but there are people that do that a lot. Um, but I've really been enjoying this and learning this different process and creating yarn with so many different things. And I'm one of the things I'm wanting to work on this year with some of the fibers that I've processed myself is I want to dye them, but I want to use natural dyes out of my garden. So that'll be a, a, another thing that I think will be kind of fun. So you might see some of this stuff from time to time in my videos just because it is something I'm passionate about. Um, as always, if there's something that you've seen that, you know, you might think, hey, maybe she could make a video about this or you some maybe you know me and you know different things I make and there's something that you would love to see how I do you know, drop a comment, let me know. Um, I'm always looking for something, something fun to create a video with that people would actually be interested in seeing. So this little guy, he had popped up on, you know, some feeds that I had seen and I thought he would be a fun little thing to do. And he was a little bit challenging at points, like when I had to get all the way down to four stitches. Um, that was, that was a little challenging even with that smaller hook and everything but to get through those four stitches but as soon as I opened back up to eight stitches it was a lot easier but I and <laughs> we we figured out as we were working um, you'll see at the end I as I start twisting him together um, I found out later after I finished the last video clip that there was a way if you twisted and pushed it through a certain way you could get it to hold even though he was still floppy you could get it to hold and be able to let go of it so there is a um, photo at the very end that will let you see what he looks like when he's been pushed all together before I've actually sewn him. I'm still getting used to being behind the camera and creating these videos and having content that you guys all enjoy seeing. And I'd say some of the biggest challenges, honestly, is when I'm doing this voiceover part and being able to have that time that is quiet around me so that I can actually record. Um, I've honestly been trying to do this little nine minute bit of recording for the last hour now. And every time I think I can hit record, a dog barks or somebody comes in the house or starts banging here or banging there <laughs> and I'm like are you kidding me people I just want to record nine minutes worth of time that's it but you know that's what happens when you have a house full of people and I love having a house full of people so you know I just got to work around that but um, it, it does complicate things when you're trying to have a video out on time Time and you're trying to find that time to be able to do the recording. But anyway, I, I hope you enjoy this video. I enjoyed making it for you. And, you know, it's, it's an adventure. It's a new adventure for me. And I'm learning as I go. You'd be amazed how long nine minutes is until you're actually trying to fill that space with something interesting that people are going to actually want to listen to while they're watching what you're doing. Um, it's, it's a lot more time to fill than you realize. And I even wrote myself notes so that I would have things to say through the whole thing. And now that we're like right at the end, I have gotten to the point where I'm like, hmm, what else can I say to you guys that is interesting whether it's about me or something else um yeah i don't know we've got another few seconds here and i'm at a loss so 
<laughs> thank you all for watching and I hope you continue to watch and I know I will continue to make videos for you so enjoy the end of the balloon dog and how he comes out and I will have something new for you next week Well, I got it done. Kind of cool looking. So now we have to make it look like a dog instead of sausage links that we made. Well, we won't go there. Okay, so let's see if we can figure this out. I'm supposed to... that. Once you do all this, you're supposed to sew him together so he doesn't come apart, which means I'm going to have to hold on to it right now to show you what he's going to look like. Okay, let's see. Ears. Huh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> we have a little balloon dog. How cute is that? <laughs> uh, let's see if I let go of him. Ah! Definitely needs to be sewn together, but hey, we did it. That'd be fun though for a kid to be able to just play with it and I don't know. I guess if you were learning how to make them too, that would be kind of fun because you would have you could just keep doing it and undoing it. Okay, that was easier to twist the first time. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so my finished doggy. This needs some together. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure of our little crocheted balloon dog with me. So, if you like this video, click the like button. And if you'd like to see more, click subscribe. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>